Hey everyone, welcome back to Explore Van UK, the channel where we test out the best gear to keep your adventures running smoothly all year round. Winter is here in the UK, and that means cold nights, short days, and a real test of your van's electrical setup. So today we're putting the eco-worthy 280 amp hour lithium iron phosphate leisure battery through its paces to see if it can handle the demands of off-grid living in the winter months. So stick with us. Don't forget to check out our other videos on everything camper van and motorhome related, from solar to water, heating to gadgets, tyres to trips. If you like this video, please do hit the thumbs up. It really does help me to know what you like, and you can ask any questions or give feedback in the comments. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos, please hit the subscribe button and clicking the bell will give you a notification when a new video goes live. Finally, if you do decide to hit the thumbs down, it would be great if you could also leave a comment so I know what you didn't like. We're going to check how easy it is to install the EcoWorthy battery, how it performs, what kind of usable capacity you can expect, and whether this budget-friendly battery can really compete when it comes to powering your van through winter. So, is the EcoWorthy 280 ampere hour the ultimate winter power solution for your setup? Let's get on with it and find out. At well under £400, the 280 ampere battery from EcoWorthy packs quite a power punch for the price. And EcoWorthy are a brand that is well known, unlike some other lithium battery suppliers. Using grade A cells, it has an expected lifetime of over 15 years, based on 15,000 cycles to as low as 0%. It can supply power down to as low as minus 20 degrees Celsius and the built-in Bluetooth and the EcoWorthy app mean keeping tabs of how much power you have is easy. So let's take a closer look at it. As well as the battery itself, you get all the documentation along with the connectors you need. Before we even get it out of the box, let's get the app connected, which really couldn't be simpler with step-by-step -step instructions in the app itself. At around 28 kilos, unpacking is a two-person job really, and the eco-worthy assembly method, which gives higher damage protection, though not visible, gives reassurance. One of the questions we often get asked are what are the benefits of moving to lithium iron phosphate batteries from AGM? So let's take a look. Here's the 100 ampere hour AGM battery you'll shortly see us remove to replace with the EcoWorthy. It weighs in at 26.4 kilos. Despite being nearly three times the capacity, the EcoWorthy is just two kilograms heavier. The size difference is a little deceiving, though it doesn't look physically that much bigger, the EcoWorthy is around twice the total volume of the AGM, but taking into account how much more capacity it has, that's still very good. The low let wide dimensions of the EcoWorthy do help to make sure it can fit in lots of places. Whilst the AGM has a capacity of 100 ampere hours to maintain its lifetime, it's recommended not to use it below 50%. So that really only gives you a usable capacity of 50 ampere hours, meaning to get roughly the same usable capacity as the EcoWorthy, you would actually need six of them. If we compare the stats, for that they would be over five times heavier, take up to around three times the space and cost over twice as much. Another important consideration is Life ip 4 batteries ability to charge and discharge safely at much higher currents than AGM. So if you have the right methods of charging, you can recharge your EcoWorthy battery in a much shorter time than an AGM, and you can use higher powered appliances such as inverters safely. Before we actually install it, let's do a test of if the capacity of the EcoWorthy is the claimed 280 ampere hours. To do this, we've fully charged it and we'll be using it to charge a large power station via the 12 volt connection. Given the limit of 100 watts, this will take some time, but we'll monitor the actual power that the EcoWorthy puts in via our Coulomb meter. 
Over the following hours, we see the capacity of the eco-worthy reducing and the power supplied increasing, until, when finally fully depleted, we see that the eco-worthy has supplied a total of 3.5 kilowatt hours. A quick calculation shows us that at a nominal 12.8 volts, that equates to 273.4 ampere hours. So, allowing for the small amount of losses in the cable and 12 volt charging circuits, that's pretty much bang on or in excess of the quoted 280 ampere hours. So now we're happy with the battery spec, let's get it installed. First we need to disconnect and take out the old AGM battery, obviously observing all the precautions for not short circuiting the terminals. With the amount of power in the EcoWorthy, I'm super cautious about working around the terminals with metal tools that could short circuit it. So personally, I add an insulated wrap to mine to minimise the risk of any arcing. Now it's just a case of manoeuvring the EcoWorthy in and connecting it up carefully. Given the loads we'll be using in and out of the EcoWorthy, I'm adding a battery top fuse terminal with a 50 amp fuse for the charging and normal load output and a 100 amp fuse for the inverter. As the terminals on both the EcoWorthy and the fuse block are screw type, we've got rid of the old battery clamps and added ring terminals on the cables. I like to make sure the positive terminal is well protected, taping over any exposed contact. We'll make sure the battery is strapped down and secure once we've tested everything. Since we have moved from AGM to Life IP04, we need to update the charging profiles on our solar and mains chargers. And we've moved from an old school voltage sensitive relay to a DC to DC charger for charging as we drive. Now let's test out the battery with some higher output loads. We're only using a 1000 watt inverter with a peak of 2000 watts, so this will be more limiting than the battery. Starting with just one induction hob on full, we can see the battery giving out nearly 650 watts or 50 amps. With the microwave, it's nearly a kilowatt and 80 amps, and we can go back to the induction hob and crank on that second induction hob to stretch the limit of the inverter up to a total of nearly 1.3 kilowatts not too far from 100 amps, which the battery copes with. So, in summary, what have we seen? On the whole, from our perspective, lithium iron phosphate batteries are a great choice for high capacity and current capability. Their price is now cheaper than the equivalent AGM needed for the same usable capacity, plus they are much lighter and smaller. And with EcoWorthy's budget-friendly price, low temperature support, simple app and enhanced physical protection, they would be a great choice to keep you powered up whatever the season. Thanks for watching our video and as always, if you have any questions or feedback, please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful, please like, share and consider subscribing.